back to SourceFed Nerd. This is Whitney Moore. And this is a realistic humanoid robot called Philip Molina. And today I brought yet another announcement from Elon Musk's Tesla company. Legitimately, it sounds like every single day Tesla makes a new announcement. And I think that's amazing, actually. First off, it's important to note that Tesla recently acquired Solar City Corp. And after showing off these really kind of badass solar panels in disguise, the Transformers. <laughs> They're now saying that the Tesla Model 3, the affordable Tesla car, is gonna get a solar roof too. So on top of it being an electric car, it'll also use solar power to power multiple elements like windshield wipers and heaters and whatnot. What is amazing about this is that idea in general about Elon Musk and his companies, they don't see the adoption of future technology as like a myopic one at a time kind of thing. They're like, hell, let's do it all, baby. Solar and electric cars, why not? So we thought now could be a good time to go over all the different futuristic technologies that Elon Musk is promising us simple plebs over the next 10 or 15 years. With all the depressing news in this election lately, I'm ready to escape into a utopian future scenario whenever, shall we? Now, in the 1950s, they dreamed up a wildly ambitious future full of racially segregated moon colonies. But let us walk you through what Elon Musk imagines a day will be like in the life of the average American. Oh, good morning. You're ready for a productive day with the Tesla modeled fully automated solar powered super home. The roof panels capture energy from the sun and have the added benefit of not looking like shit. And from the moment you wake up, you will feel the mechanical eye of your smart domicile ever watching and ever present. Hello, Dave. You're looking well today. Elon Musk has expressed concern that this AI is probably going to turn on you eventually, but he's invested a billion dollars to try to prevent it. And if it does happen, he promises that he'll be releasing regular overnight downloadable patches that will make your home and car far less murderous. And as your smart Tesla home goes on to tell you the news that you actually care about while you sip your classic cup of ethically sourced coffee substitute, your automated Tesla car, also powered by solar panels, nimbly takes little Billy to school driving on what Musk calls double-decker highways and, after converting to an actual submarine car, shortcutting through Lake Michigan and scaring the hell out of your child. Sorry, little Billy, have fun at Pepsi Elementary. And your trusty autonomous Tesla, which, by the way, Musk says has to have Falcon Wing style doors that open up because they allow you to park in the tight, overcrowded parking lots of the future and just in general look way fucking cool. You wanna know what I have? A fucking car whose doors open like this, not like this. Not like this. Well, that aero car trucks on its own all the way back to pick you up. But not to take you to work as a solar battery maintenance worker, which is gonna be the fastest growing job in the future because that shit's gonna need maintenance, but instead to the nearest Hyperloop station in futuristic San Francisco, or as you'll call it, San Francisco. From there, you board a Hyperloop pod and in just three and a half short hours, why, you're in New York City. Except you were actually supposed to go to Florida, you dipshit, so you take a plane that doesn't need a runway to your final destination, Kennedy Space Center in Florida, because baby, you're going to Mars. That's right, you and your gay wife hopped on a reusable space rocket and are now inhabitants of that sandy red fourth planet from the sun, probably sponsored by Doritos Fiery Fusion Spaceships. It's Mars! You volunteered to live your life as one of the first settlers of Mars, and in doing so, you've admitted that you don't intend to return to Earth, because as Musk says, the first people to go to Mars will most certainly die there. Okay. <laughs> Your particular settlement is tasked with building the infrastructure of the first Martian vacation destination, which you will never live to see or enjoy. Don't worry though, despite the fact that at any moment your very delicate Martian habitat could pop and suck the life out of your environment as quickly as these virgins suck the life out of each other. <laughs> At least you have your spouse there with you, also fated to become perfectly preserved frozen corpses, since bodies on Mars do not decompose the same way they do here. And if the idea of spending a frozen eternity with that spouse you were guilted into marrying sounds terrible, don't worry, because Elon Musk says at that point we can use technology to vastly improve our bodies, effectively becoming cyborgs. As Musk sees it, considering we already use artificial parts inside of humans, and smartphones and computers are already existing intelligence enhancers that are basically attached to us, the next step of body enhancements is with in our powerful robotic grasp. And if it's your uptight personality that needs improvement, well, there's no future predictions for that. So just like take a hint and chill the fuck out, okay? All that aside, living on Mars doesn't sound so much worse than living within this delicate habitat we call Earth. I mean, Earth. At least on Mars, we get to constantly be the first to do something on Mars. Build the first Martian hotel. Again, that you won't live to see yourself. Be the first person to dab on Mars. Monumental, since dabbing becomes illegal on Earth in 2018. Or you could just be the first to become super fucking dumb because living on Mars gives you brain damage. Correct. Good luck building anything of use to the future generations because a report today also says the bombardment of constant galactic 
rays wouldn't take long to gift you with serious brain damage. Ooh, it's a gift. Your family could be like the Fantastic Four, but instead of cosmic rays giving you powers, you get brain damage and probably cancer. Most likely cancer, yes. And now, after your brain has turned to mush and you can barely utter a coherent sentence, you finally remember, hey, didn't you have a kid in this story? Little Billy? What the fuck happened to him? Well, you forgot him back on Earth, but you know what? It's not so bad because little Billy may be stuck at home, parentless, and maybe starving to death, but at least his little brain will be fully consumed by the virtual reality games that Mr. Musk says will be indistinguishable from actual reality. But isn't that how we get the Matrix? Musk was asked. Yes, says Musk, but don't worry. He also says there's a chance that this has already happened, and we don't know that we are already in a simulation at this very moment. That would explain a lot. Yump. So, real talk, Elon Musk wants to be Tony Stark and wants to make the future happen now, and we are 100% down with that. Yeah, we already blew past the 2015 deadline set in the place by Back to the Future, and we just barely got away with at least having some of that tech. We need visionaries like Musk to ignore the definition of what is realistic. He isn't limiting what humankind is capable of, and so far, he's put his money where his mouth is. It's damn near enough to get us excited about the arrival of future tech again, which is hard after we got burned by those damn hoverboards. Literally. All right, so make sure to share this video if you want to let other in on some of the fun plans that Elon Musk has in store for us and all of Earn. And subscribe to this channel for more of this stuff. Also check out our video where we explain a lot more about what Elon Musk has planned for our travels to Mars. Speaking of traveling to Mars and the appropriate attire for the situation, we've got hats. Hats. Oh yeah, it's your favorite designs in hat form. We're introducing these in Space We Wear Pink and Awaken Snapback Hats. They're super high quality snapbacks with custom printed bills and top buttons and the colors match the snapback. And this front logo embroidery, it's all in 3D, baby. Ooh, I'ma touch it. Yeah, go ahead. Wow. Also, all hats are 10% off through November 8th, 2016 with the code FHP hats. Or FH Fats. <laughs> Check out FHPmerch.com slash FHP hats to skim those designs. Ah, you guys are gonna look so good. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I'm Whitney Moore. I'm a robot that is learning to love. And we'll see you in the future. Teleport. Bye -bye. You know how to deal with Walter White? You show up in a power armor from Fallout 4. Ooh.